Good morning, dear students. Today we'll be starting with the third chapter of SS, that is the movements of the Earth and its effect. We have already learned that the Earth, like all the planets of the solar system, moves around the Sun. That means as we know that all the planets revolve ar around the sun. Can you see a globe in this picture? Observe it carefully. You will find the earth is slightly tilted. The same way globe is also slightly tilted. The line that is being seen in the between is called axis of the earth. Now we are going to learn what are the movements of earth? There are two movements of the earth. One is rotation and the other one is revolution. Rotation. The spinning movement of the earth on its own axis is called rotation. Now the word comes in our mind. What is spinning movement? Rotation is circular movement of an object. The same way this is a spinning movement. The earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. In this rotation we get day that is sunlight and night that is darkness. This is the effect of rotation that means when earth rotates at a time only one part of the earth faces the sun while other part remains away from the sun. Look at the diagram given below. Where we see the sun facing the earth. That means it's daytime and on the other side it is a night time. Next comes revolution. When rotating on its axis, sorry, on its tilted axis, the earth also moves around the sun on a fixed path. This fixed path is called orbit. Now, let us see what is leap year. We all know that we have 365 days in a year. But actually, earth completes one revolution in 365 plus one fourth days and we have only 365 days in our calendar. So where does this one fourth day goes? We need to know this right? This way every year one fourth day is added. And after 4 years by adding 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, that makes 1 day, 1 extra day in a year. Then we get a leap year where we have 29 days in the month of February. This is called leap year. This year 2020 is a leap year because we were having 29 days in month of February. Now let's see what are the effects of revolution. This revolution of the earth around the sun causes season. When one part of the earth faces sun, the other part, part is away from the sun. So the it causes summer where the sun is facing and the other part is getting winter. This is how the revolution works and we see the effects of revolution by causing the seasons that is summer, winter, spring and rainy.